Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome to a series that I'm sure is going to be universally popular, uh, where we are going back in time seven years to play a puzzle game because I never actually finished Steven Sausage Roll. I actually don't think I ever got particularly far. Um, it turns out to be very difficult, but what it is, in addition to being difficult, is like universally renowned among the kinds of people who might renown a puzzle game. This is, this is the one. This is, everybody talks about this glowingly, and I'd like to see the end of it. I bet most of you out there haven't really, <laughs> haven't really engaged with this. So I figured it's been a little while since we played a proper puzzle game on the channel, and I'm starting to get the itch, and this has just been sitting there in my library, mocking me, waiting, waiting for its time to strike. Well, I say... The, so, so you gotta listen you gotta sausage them before they sausage you is that an innuendo it's a pretty weak innuendo anyway let's go let's go roll some sausages so um i do not remember the solutions to any of these puzzles nor do i remember why only slot three has games in it but that's fine we're just gonna start up a new game here in slot one there is not a lot of intro in fact this is it hello welcome you are now playing Steven Sausage Roll. There are four buttons in Steven Sausage Roll. Up, right, left, and down. If you press the button you're facing, you walk. You can also go directly backwards. If you press either of the sideways directions, instead of moving sideways, you, uh, you turn. And that's it. That's, as far as I know, that's all of it. Welcome to the Island of Wisdom, where we keep the sausages for some reason. Arrow keys to move. I'm sorry, there are two additional buttons. Z to undo, R to restart, and presumably this is our ship? We have crash landed here on the Island of Wisdom, but it's a good thing that we brought our giant fork because it turns out it's going to be needed. So, one thing I do remember is that the way you trigger a puzzle is by stepping into one of these, uh, one of these sort of fork holding shapes here. And here's the deal with Steven Sausage Roll, the, the primary deal. You will have some number of sausages on each level. A sausage can be imagined to have four quadrants, right? It's a one by two shape. So there's a square of the sausage that's right next to Steven and a square that's right next to the fork. Each half of the sausage has a top side and a bottom side. And your goal is to get all four of the quadrants of the sausage cooked exactly once by a grill. And you must do this to each sausage to win the puzzle. So, like, for example here, if we turn right, you can see the bottom half of, the bottom part of both of those halves of that sausage are now somewhat cooked. But, obviously, this is a huge problem. That one sausage is done, this other sausage is only half done, and when we press it forward, oh no, we've ruined it. We've ruined the other one. Uh, so, we're going to just have to figure out how to do a better job than that. And... I want to be clear here. When I say we're going to figure some stuff out, I'm not being cute. I do not remember. I don't know how long ago it was exactly that I played this game, but it was a long time ago. All right, there we go. And then, yes, you still have to navigate out, which I guess could potentially be a problem on some puzzles. And once you've done so, the, the shape just disappears. And that's how you know you did the puzzle, because it's not there anymore. Why would it be called Infant's Break, though? For what... For what reason? <coughs> Pardon me. So... On this one, it seems pretty obvious. With this grill situation on the right here... Um that we could get ourselves into trouble if we don't handle this very carefully. We definitely need the sausage to be... Does my mouse capture on the screen at all? Oh, no, it doesn't. Perfect. That's wonderful. Um, here, I'm going to try to set this up. Gosh. How do I set this up so that I can show you what I'm talking about? Okay. If we move this sausage here, and then if I press up right now... No, that's no good, because this sausage has become unrecoverable. 
What I'm thinking is that if we're going to cook a sausage on these, these grates over here, we have to... Gosh, maybe we just can't cook a sausage on those grates. Because we'd have to get the sausage jutting off the south part of this island. Right? If we tried to cook it by pushing it to the side and then, like, doing this thing, we're going to cause that part that's already on the grill to get cooked a second time. So maybe they both have to get cooked on the left grill? Is there room and time for that? Hmm. We really, really don't have a lot of space to play with here. Actually, it feels like that can't be right. Gosh, how do you... I'm trying to figure out how I end up north of the sausages without putting either of them in an unrecoverable state. Maybe this does have to happen just because I can't figure out how to get this sausage over there any other way. I'm like, I want to turn so that my fork is facing the other way. I would like to be able to be above this northern sausage without my fork facing downward. But it's actually like, it's hugely problematic to, to figure out. All right. Maybe I'm wrong about some critical element But see, like once this uh, once this eastern sausage is in this position, it's just totally unrecoverable, right? I can't push it down, but I also can't push it any other direction. Like it's not possible to push it left, and if I push it up or right, it just falls in the water. So yeah, it definitely feels like you have to avoid doing that. Stuck on the second puzzle, fantastic! What a what a positive omen. Okay, hold on. What about this? See, now, now what? Now what, smarty pants? I mean, we have the ability to do like this, which is pretty good. And then the question is, do I think I can cook this other sausage? on the grill over here or is it not just going to have the same problem as before well no not necessarily right because if we push it over here i can push it again yeah, because of the way that hangs off. And then we just flip it that way. All right, so that's that's the kind of thing that we're in for. Um, and you can see once we have completed a puzzle, not only does the thing disappear, but also the shapes representing the sausages uh, seem to disappear. And I bet that will be used in some kind of blocking sort of way at some point. How do I, okay, nope, here we go. Lacrimose head. That's when we tab out and we just look up the word lacrimose real quick. Tearful or given to weeping. If I'm honest, not my favorite kind of head. I can't, it's very difficult to imagine a situation where that's not like very worrying. Anyway, sorry. Uh, gosh. Well, so if I push this sausage up, it feels unrecoverable. Yeah, even if we were to get to the right of it somehow to push it to the left, we couldn't like roll it. Yeah, I think I think if I do that, 
the sausage becomes unrecoverable immediately. So we can walk onto a grate. And Stephen just says, oh. And then backs up. Um, so there's no damage model or anything. If I push this... The thing is, if you ever have an object hanging off the side of the map like this... Um, oops. That makes it unrecoverable unless you can get further over there, right? Because the best we could ever do is just push it sideways from that point. So... We can't afford to push the Western Sausage West or the Eastern Sausage East at all. But I have to get out of this, out of this meaty prison that we've been placed inside of. Mm, no good. You must be incredibly deliberate about your movements. So I don't hate this. My concern is that I think it's going to be very difficult to finish cooking this northern sausage. So if I press right now, I can push you up there. But if I push this thing up again, it is once again going to become unrecoverable, right? Like, once it's up here, all we can do is scoot it from the sides. I would have to be able to get up onto the row. Uh, the row that it is in, in order to hit it with the side of the fork to bring it back down, which is a thing that cannot happen. Even doing this doesn't really help us get around. In addition to making the middle sausage um, unrecoverable, I still can't actually maneuver. But wait, if I do this, and then we use this sausage to cook the other side of the other half of that sausage, then... This creates a little bit of open space, actually. Now, my guess is that we're going to regret the amount of space that we have devoted this uh, devoted to this thing. And I can't figure out how I would retrieve the other sausages now. But like that's that's something, right? That's that's in the neighborhood of a plan. Oops, I mean this. And then oh, sorry, uh, that. And then it's just like, can you find a way to move? Well, this sausage being in the center of the grill is a huge problem. Gosh, not that I think there's much I can do about that, necessarily. So if I, at this point, swap these ones down like this, and that gives me the ability to move you into that same position. If we just swap you up here, and I can just bump this thing kind of out of the way. It can hang off the edge of the island, and that's fine. The sausages don't have to be, like, in a position where someone could reasonably eat them, you know? We just have to, we just have to do our part. The eating is someone else's problem. There we go. How would, 
how would you sink your teeth into those without them falling in the ocean? I don't know. Above my pay grade. The entire idea of eating a sausage that is this size is very abstract in the first place. So obviously the problem here is once again one of sausages becoming unrecoverable. So we have these couple of squares up at the top here that actually would allow us to push a sausage down southward if it got pushed above the grating. I think I need to push one of them onto the thing just to make room to, to maneuver, right? And then once you've got this like this, uh, what I'm talking about here is as long as we can get even with the top of the sausage, we can push it down, right? So then it's like, you swap this thing over. I think I actually wanna push this over one more time and then sweep it down. Yeah, this should totally work, right? Because now we can walk around over here Bam. Hey SB, how come you weren't able to complete this game all those years ago? Well, I would like to think I've gotten smarter in the time since, but also we're not really seeing the, we're seeing the kid gloves version of the thing. Let's just hold on. Let's not get too confident too, uh, too quickly here. I mean, I suppose this hearth is comely. As much as I've ever thought that a turn it, <clears throat> as much as I've ever thought that a hearth was comely. Oh wait, this isn't gonna work. I was gonna like push it over here, out of the way, and then cook it on that thing. But um, if I press, if I do this right now, the sausage is gonna roll over and burn terribly. And whose bright idea was that? Actually, what do I what do I even do with this one? Um So I need to if I could bump it upward, then I could use this move to push it to the west to get it into a cookable area. Um but I'm never going to be able to do that myself. So it must be the case that we have to use the other sausage to do that. Right, something like this. And then now that that's done, we can back in here, be very, very cautious about our giant fork. And that is now a, that is now a cooked sausage. That one's fine. And then it's just like, can you do it to the other one? Can I bump this off of here? Okay, yes, that still works. Actually, if I use the fork, can I push it? Yes, I can push it all the way. Okay. Was that a useful thing to do? I don't actually think so, hold on. Cause like, how am I gonna get it down to cook the other half of it, right? So what I did with this first sausage was the first sausage had to come down like this. Yeah, I rolled the first sausage. Hmm. I rolled the first sausage all the way down to the bottom here and then rolled it back up on the other side. But that's not actually going to be an easy thing to do with this sausage, given the position of this other, the cooked one. I wonder... 
before I have done that. Oh, but I still need to... Shoot, I still need to actually cook the other half of this thing. So I can't just push it off the side of the level just yet. But... Maybe we get this thing um, out of the way first. And it should, in theory, be safe to just, like, tuck this one away in this corner. Right, without it causing any problems. Got to back through this whole area now so that I don't, so that I don't accidentally knock anything into the sea. Uh-oh. Oh shit, that's a problem. Uh how, how uh shit 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 I I feel like we were so close. Alright, let me let me try to do something a little bit differently here. There we go. That took a that took a little bit of maneuvering, but we managed to get there. You know, a lot of the problem is not even just the movement of the sausages themselves, but how do you move around in the world without like mutilating the situations that you've set up? Cause gosh, this fork is very large. And it seems like the um the boat crash has really just lodged it into you. It was full force. Sort of very difficult. I don't think you could let it go if you wanted to. Ah, the old merchant's elegy. You ever been in a pet and breakfast and been like, hey, do y'all have any sausages? Because I could really go for a merchant's elegy right now. What's your plan? Uh, okay, plan is go like this. It's okay to push the sausage to the edge of reality. Mm, we just must not push it past the edge of reality, which is to say the platform. Shoot, right, so if I push that sausage to the, to that side of the grill, we can never really get it back. Hmm. There we go. Oh, right. I, I have to swap this off of the grill before I push it downward so that we can get it past this other sausage. Just sort of bat it around here. And I think this is okay. We can cook the other half separately like that. This one doesn't seem so bad unless I'm missing something. This is the classic fork tornado. Um, in Stevens, it requires you to it requires you to execute the full circle, and that's always difficult to do without accidentally jumping. That's why I've never been able to pull off a spinning pile driver. In Steven Sausage Roll 2, I heard they're going to replace it with just a half circle motion. Much easier. How? Okay. How? How do I? But yo, how do I? Sea finger is a gross name for a level. So in order to have the hot dog not just fall in the bloody ocean, we kind of have to, we kind of have to do this. 
and then push it left from here. It's not 100% clear to me how I am even intended to affect this other sausage. I guess that's the thing, right? That's what we're actually doing. That's the puzzle. So the answer is, if I move this up here, roll this that way, and then push it up from here, I can create a situation where I can force them both to roll. Okay, that puzzle is just to make absolutely certain that you know how to use the side of the fork. This is like the one, the one like basic controls thing that I remember so you could sort of bat them around. Because we had to cook. All right, let's just get this thing up here with us below it. The thing is, once we've put it on this grill, I don't know how to recover it. Right? I would assume that, I mean, you can't. You can't recover it. But that's also kind of true of this grill, isn't it? I mean, like, I could do this and recover just that. But then how do I get the other, the other side of that half cooked? Right, because we can do this, but we can't actually get it back off of this grill. So it seems like you really want it to be finished already when you put it on that grill. Okay. If it's in this position, we can get it back off the grill. How does that help us? I guess I can I can push this on here then shove it north. Yeah, there we go. This is uh this one's tricky because that that left grill looks like a 2 by one grill upon which you might cook a sausage, but it is in fact two one by ones next to each other. And spatially that totally is a meaningful difference. All right, so there's a couple of spots on this one where it is possible to move the sausage onto the burners without just hucking it in the ocean. So I guess let's start with those. Nope, that is absolutely not what I wanted. Here we go. Right, you get something like that. And then... I mean, is this all there is to this one? I mean, that, that didn't seem so bad. Maybe I'm misremembering. Maybe this game wasn't as hard as I thought it was. Smash cut to somewhere in the middle of episode three when I am literally weeping. Please, just let me, just let me cook the sausages. So the primary problem with this level is that it's small. I guess before I even take this off of the uh, off of the grill, we probably have to begin maneuvering this other one. And they can sit there on the grills indefinitely, as long as you don't as long as you don't move them, they don't cook anymore, which I don't think is how real cooking works. However, anyone who's ever eaten any of the food I've prepared can tell you, I do not know how cooking works is a mystery to me, for sure. Um, is it not impossible? 
Yes, I have made it somewhat impossible to recover this other sausage. Right, it needs to be moved off of the wall at this point. How, how do I... I can't get back around it and the way the grills are positioned like if I end up pushing the southern sausage into those two spaces to the south of the grill I can't recover the sausage anymore it becomes impossible to affect it from the sides because Steven's not willing to just stand on a broke uh, stand on a great big grill until his feet melt off for science for the solution you know, this is like he lacks commitment. He lacks commitment is the problem. So we've got like a kind of sort of situation, a kind of a kind of sort of solution rather. What if we take the opposite tack? We start cooking the things from the middle. And then we slide them to the outside. Isn't this going to make it much easier to just push them past each other? Well, again, I run into this problem of like, how do I actually maneuver them around? It's definitely less pronounced though this time. All right, so just be careful to back up when you need to back up. Yeah, how do I get... Once again, they don't have to be in a position where you could theoretically eat them. They just have to be cooked. So we have another thing up here. What does this say? Learned people cast great shadows. And then that that particular little pedestal seems to be casting an awfully large shadow here, which is something. And then there's this. Like, what is this? I'll tell you what, if you encounter a sausage in the world that is this color, I do not think you should eat it. Okay, why can I not just... Oh, right, because if I push... If I just push stuff to the east, the first sausage burns before the second sausage is done. Or even really on the grill. So there's a way to let stuff off here. I mean, those grills down at the bottom. I have a little bit of a thought, actually. So if we push this to the side here, roll it one more. I think the idea is we burn ourselves very briefly, but we create this stepped group of sausages. And then I have to push this one down too. Or the top part of it's just going to burn. Ah, but if I do that, I can't roll it again. But if I don't do that, the top part of it is going to burn.
Well... Alright, what about this? What if... Get over there. Push this thing down, but so that this sausage will continue cooking it. And we just push this sausage down as well. And none of them actually end up on the... How did I think this was going to work? What was... What was, What was my plan here? I am honestly racking my brain trying to figure out what on earth was I doing? Yeah, I definitely can't just like swing the, the fork at it while we are bouncing off of the grill. Yeah, this is a good solution for one of our sausages and a tremendously terrible solution for a different one. Hmm. We certainly can't just leave the um, the second sausage in the grill area, because first of all, it will burn right as the um, the the rightmost sausage completes, and secondly, it won't push the um, the leftmost one anymore. So stepping it down like that's definitely important until it is fatal, until, until it turns out to have ruined everything. Because if I don't have a sausage in the space directly to our left, I kind of can't interact with... If I press again, we burn the middle sausage. But if I don't press again, I'm worried that I'm going to end up... Yeah, with this closest sausage, I'm going to leave a quadrant uncooked forever. Hmm. You know, we can we can always come back to a puzzle is the thing. Where's the catch? I guess to some extent the catch is in the uh, <laughs> the positioning of the exit. Yeah, because now that I've done this... Look at how smart you thought you were. Where has all of that hubris gone now? How else would I get these things cooked? I guess is a pretty important question. I really don't see anything else. Like, even if we were... Yeah, no, I just don't, I don't see anything. Hmm. May bear a uh, tiny little uh, bit of concentration here. A little bit of consideration. It's 
So you know what? I think I'm going to call it here, actually, for today. That's, that's going to be it for us for the moment. We got through a bunch of puzzles in relatively short order. And now I'm looking at this thing and feeling like maybe I got to take a second to, uh, to put it through its paces. So when you come back next time, uh, we will have a solution to this puzzle, presumably, or I'm just going to sit here and flail at it for 48 hours or so. Really, could be either. Uh, and then, from there, it is onward to even more sausages, if you can believe it. And we'll see you then.